Good morning, Titans, and welcome to TNN. We got a good show for you today, so stay tuned. I'm Brady. And I'm Keegan. Let's take a look at Olivia's poll on going back to school. Hey, Titans, it's Liv, reporting for TNN. Some of y'all might miss school as much as I do. With Tesoro and other schools hopefully opening soon, let's see what our fellow Titans are doing. 100% online or hybrid? All online. Oh, I'm taking hybrid. I even took a poll on my Instagram story to see what other students were doing. It seems like a lot of people are going hybrid, and I don't blame them. I chose hybrid as well. So please wear your mask, Titans, because I don't want to have to go to any more awkward breakout rooms. This is what my mask looks like on. I look so happy and excited. This is what my mask looks like off. I am sad because I am spreading germs. So socially distance, wear a mask, so we can enjoy these moments again, and I can see Miss Park. So the big question is, are you going hybrid or all online? This is Liv, reporting for TNN. I cannot wait to get back to school. It's going to be so much fun. Hybrid is going to be a little weird, but I'm just excited to get back. Yeah, I'm also doing hybrid. I'm excited to go back. Matt interviewed his sister about going back to school. Let's check it out. I'm Matt Obanet, reporting for TNN. I'm here in my house with my sister, Camilla. So Camilla, how do you feel about going back to school with the hybrid model in a few weeks? Um, well, I'm excited that I get to see my friends, but I'm also kind of worried about having less instructional time for school. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with less instructional time for all like the AP classes who need to get a lot of uh, things in before the end of the school year. Here from my house, I'm Matt Tobinette, reporting for TNN. Yeah, the less instruction time will definitely be a lot more difficult, but I'll, I think it's all worth it when we're getting to see our friends. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be so surreal again just to get back there. Well, here's Spencer with some more info on going back to school. I'm Spencer, reporting for TNN, here with Kirtan, talking about going back to school. So, Kirtan, what are you most excited for going back to school in person? Going back to school in person, I'm most excited for introducing myself properly to my teachers because in online I couldn't really engage with them like on a person like personally. So if I go back like in person, it'll be like easier to like build relationships with my teachers. Also, I look forward to seeing my friends, which I haven't seen in a while, and yeah, it'll just be exciting to continue going to school. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to that stuff as well. I'm Spencer reporting for TNN. Yeah, I mean, going back to school, again, is going to be fun, but I wonder, like, how much different it's really going to be, because we know the schedules with hybrids can be different, but what if the friend interaction is going to be different, too, with social distancing and everything? Yeah, like lunch and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at Ricky's video on Diego about what COVID took away from him. Hi, I'm Ricky, reporting for TNN, here in a Zoom call with Diego, to ask him how COVID is affecting fun things he usually does. So, Diego, what is one thing you missed since quarantine started? Well, if there's anything I miss, it means going to school, seeing my friends, hanging out with them, just stuff like that, nothing entirely specific. Yeah, that definitely is something worth missing. Uh, from this Zoom call, I'm Ricky, reporting for TNN. Yeah, I still got to see my friends like a little bit, but it's still not as much as I usually do. Yeah, I feel like summer was good to see your friends, but most of it was just mainly like vacations here and there, just short little trips. So it should be good to see them full time again. Well, I caught up with Jeffrey to get some more info on yet again going back to school. Hi, I'm Brady in my room reporting for TNN. I'm here with Jeffrey to get some more info on what he thinks about school coming back since it's coming back soon. So, um, which, as I said, school is coming back soon. How do you feel about this? Um, honestly, I can't wait for it. I really want to get back in the classroom. I really want to see my friends. And I just want to get out of this room that you see behind me right here. Oh, yeah. I, I desperately need to get out of the house, too. I mean, really, the only time I've been getting out has been hanging out with you, so. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I, I definitely need to get out more, so school should be fun. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. Hopefully, everything goes according to plan and we can back, get back to school. From my room, I'm Brady, reporting for TNN. So, yeah, getting, getting back to school should, should be great. I mean, 
I'm I'm just curious if we're gonna have to social distance during interviews. So that's my big thing. Sadly, I think that we will probably have to. <laughs> yeah, hey, it should it should be entertaining though. Yeah, Nate Warren caught up on the choir on the choir class. Let's take a look at what they have to say. I'm Nate Warren, reporting for TNN, and I'm here in a Zoom call with Daylene Higgins. There are many classes that are hands on at school and normally need to be in person. Obviously, we cannot do that, so let's see how our Standing Kisora Choir is doing to sing together over online. So, Daylene, with Mr. Hancock teaching this exciting class, how is he adapting to the environment and helping you learn about music and singing online? Well, he's doing a very good job. I'm on board, so I get to have an input on everything that we do, and he's doing really well. It's basically just like regular choir in school, but just online. It's pretty fun. I've heard he's an amazing teacher, so I bet he's doing great with all of you. And I can't wait to hear like your concerts and everything like that eventually. From my room, I'm Nate Warren, reporting for TNN. Choir class has the potential to be difficult during these times, considering delays and lagging, but it seems like they're still doing a great job as always. Yeah, I, I got a couple friends in choir, so it will be fun to see them once they get back out there. I agree. Sean made an talked about an acapella group. Let's see what it's about. Hi, I'm Sean here in a Zoom meeting with Solana Mathis reporting for TNN. I know that you've been in acapella for the past two years. How has acapella changed since last year and how's it coming along? Well, obviously one of the big differences is the fact that, you know, we're online now versus being in person. And that's a big change, especially for music, seeing that you can't usually hear the other people. As far as like, how's it been this year? It's going pretty much great. We just had a meeting last Saturday and we're planning on doing a lot of recordings this year compared to last year, because last year we did a lot of competing, but then this year we're planning a lot more on video aspect. And so people will get to see a lot of the stuff that we're doing through that. Yeah, it's definitely good to see that you guys, that now we'll be seeing the video part because now everyone can have a chance, like the people who don't come out to the show, now they, everyone has a chance to see it. Well, I hope we can see more from Acapella and Inquire really soon from Zoom. I'm Sean, reporting for TNN. I hear the other people, but it seems like they're making the best of what they're given. Yeah, it, it must be like really bad too if any of them have lag. So their voices are just lagging behind and that just does not work. Well, I caught up with Dylan to talk about what he's been doing after school. Let's check it out. I'm Brady, here in my room, reporting for TNN. I'm here with Dylan to give some more info on the extracurricular activities he's been doing. So with all this stuff going on in the world of COVID and everything, what are some things that you have still been able to do? Well, with the gyms closing early in, uh, I believe it was May, uh, I've substituted that with uh, shooting hoops at my local uh, park. And I've done that basically every day. So that's been pretty fun. And now that the gym's back open, uh, I do that as well. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing the gym's opened back up. Got to get those gains in. <laughs> and basketball is always fun too. That's something I definitely need to get back into doing, practicing more. Well, yeah, I'd love to one v one sometime, Brady. Hey, yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> right, well, thank you, Dylan. Um, hopefully, the gym and basketball keeps going smoothly. From my room, this has been Brady reporting for TNN. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to take up Dylan on that 1v1, get back into it. For sure. Yeah, the gym's just open for me, so I can finally start practicing again. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all we have for you today, Soro. Thanks for tuning in to your one and only source of Titan News. Have a great day.